Hey guys, welcome back. A uh, quick video on the MTVR, probably the quickest video I've ever put on this channel uh, with uh, my ranting and rambling and raving, as you know it. Uh, quick little issue I was having with the truck. When I picked it up from Yermo out in California, had a minor issue with it. The after cooler wouldn't purge water. Well, let's back it up just a little bit. So for those that are not aware, the MTVR has an air compressor attached to a Caterpillar C12 diesel engine and its purpose is to generate air pressure for the central tire inflation system on the truck and more importantly the brake system. Without air pressure you can't even move the truck. Um, so with that said, also clean air, clean dry air is very important. When it leaves the compressor it comes along this braided line on the frame rail and um, it comes down to your after cooler. The after cooler's purpose is to cool the air down, condense the water out of it as much as it possibly can and because uh, the air is hot from the compression of the compressor and then it enters your actual air dryer itself with a coalescing oil filter on it and uh, it will remove probably well we won't get into percentages and remove most of the water that's left over so the goal is to supply your brakes and your ctis and all other precious air power components with clean dry air and um anyways pick the truck up from yermo the after cooler has a purge valve down here on the bottom of it it's held on by three five sixteenth screws it, uh, it wouldn't purge off, so the truck wouldn't would never even build air. It was stuck open. So we uh, we popped the three screws out, cleaned that up, reassembled it. It was just a quick, expedient field fix. Got the truck rolling. Uh, fast forward several months to the Georgia Rally 2019, still soldiers out at Durham Town. The uh, the truck started purging very strangely and blowing out a lot of water from the actual dryer itself. Well, I just attributed it to old age. Well, truth be known, California has very little, uh, very little humidity. Uh, probably everything was okay. And then I started tearing it apart. Found that this after cooler, when I serviced it, was full of water, absolutely full. So it was doing its job, but it, uh, it was never purging the water out of the dryer. Uh, whenever it builds air pressure, it hits a set point, then uh, it sends a signal via the signal line it comes over to the after cooler and has a T and it'll send a signal to say, hey, we're done building pressure. Now purge what's in your line. It'll blow out all the water as much as it can. So um, ended up doing a, a hard rebuild on the after cooler and the dryer itself and that fixed my problem or so I thought. Well, uh, part of the rebuild, you actually don't have to remove this whole base off of here to access it. So I didn't discover that this line was very badly kinked. So it would purge the after cooler, but it was failing to purge the actual dryer itself because this was twisted pretty severely. Um, so to replace it, it's pretty straightforward. It's definitely something that you need to investigate on your truck, whether it's initial recovery or possibly a pre-trip inspection. Make sure that no limbs or nothing else has damaged your purge line. And it's also a great time to get down here and inspect your vulnerable, I'm probably gonna relocate this, but very vulnerable line here. And uh, you also have your drain heater, stuff like that. Just take a glance at it. If you do have to replace it, it is a quarter inch DOT airline and a quarter inch compression ferrule and a quarter inch uh, compression nut nothing crazy we're talking like five dollars uh push comes to shove i hate doing it it's it's wrong it's dangerous you'll fail a inspection in a heartbeat with it but if you have to you can get along with nylon uh, tubing i don't recommend it uh, i'm not responsible for what you do with that information you can get that from home depot uh, i recommend that only if it's a you know get it out of the middle of the street and into the, um, the side of the road only. Uh, it is dangerous if you lose air pressure on these trucks. It'll lock you up and 
at highway speeds, it can be very, very uh, scary. We'll just leave it at that. Anyways, that's all for now. Hope everybody's staying safe. And uh, till next time, got another video coming here soon with the swimming pool that I turned this truck into.